get a ballpoint pen that has a little recorder in it and all it needs to do is record four minutes of dialogue and you click it on to turn it on and click it off and then whenever you go in for an audition whether it's for a movie a television show or just to work at a guy's, uh, you know, soft swirl yogurt shop, whatever it is, whatever, leave the pen behind and then come back four minutes later and go, oh, s sorry, I had a fountain pen, I left my pen well. behind. And believe me, everything that is said about you know. will yeah. be said at that moment in time, that very second. It's how I've, I've interviewed and auditioned a million people and they leave as soon as their as soon as their ass leaves the door. It's immediately uh, not going to work, or hot, or sure. whatever, or hair lip, or whatever. When are they going to shower? <laughs> whatever it is, it's all it takes about three minutes. And it's all done. Then the next person comes in, and you, everything you needed to know about yourself would be on that ballpoint pen. Depressing that. <laughs> it could be like damaging. I, I, I believe everything. It could be. It, it would. I mean, it, the truth always <laughs> is damaging. But if, like, let's say you left the pen behind. And enough people said, what the fuck's up with her hair? Oh. Well, you would gotcha. then you no, change you your hair it. and might land the next gig or, right. you know, brush your teeth or whatever. I mean, yes, it would be painful. It it's would be it's excruciating. Your own, it's your own test marketing right there, though. Right. You know, Nielsen doesn't need to come right. in and you don't need to pay $15,000 a pop. And there you go. You get the data. So you know what, what, I, what I, would you expect people would say about you? When I you would work? probably, here's why my problem, okay. my, it would hurt my psyche because I would probably get a lot of, I can't put my finger on it, but I didn't like that guy. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but, uh, ugh, kind of makes my skin feel weird when he was around. So it would be nothing I could correct. It'd be nothing uh, pointed at. I'd probably get nothing the, constructive. The, I'd, I'd get the general. We didn't dig that guy, and that would just make me feel bad. Bad vibe. Right. You know what well, I mean? Like none of us, nobody say anything bad when we leave, okay? Because, you know, we don't want the, you know, where's that pen? But that chicks, I, I mean, <laughs> chicks do that with guys. They're like, eh. Oh, sure. and, then, and then your friends, because this is what's different between guys and girls. Like, the friends will go like, well, what did he look like? And they'll go, oh, he was cute. That wasn't the problem. And you go, well, what's the problem? And eh, I can't put my finger on it, but I didn't. Well, you guys, girls are that way with guys. Like, they're, they're instinctual. I which mean, is the whole story, no, which is the whole, yeah. Usually. Which is the whole story with no, her, you can't. because her Sorry. character in the movie, you know, she's this I, is Irina. Yeah, Irina, yeah, she's uh, chatting with um, her boyfriend in America, who's coming over to study there, and she's obviously this hot, beautiful girl. But he discovers that she actually has this hunch, hunchback, hump, hump, huge hump, it's not a hump. Big deal. It's just it's a hump. It's yeah. just a hump, yeah. and it's that whole universal concept of like, do you really know what you're getting online when you're dating? And then boom, they, you know, you show up and it's not what you thought. I feel like the hump. The hump would be a tough thing to suss out online, you know. Uh, you know, big nose. I think you could get because they're staring into the into the screen or right. the camera. Or the Max got the camera built into it, you know. C cleft palate, hair lip, mono brow, <laughs> things of that nature. Bad skin, that well, kind so of stuff. But the hump, you're not going to pick up. Well, right? I say the guy who has been eye chatting with her or uh, you know uh, chatting back and forth says in the film one point, full body photo. Why didn't I ask for a full body photo? What kind of moron doesn't ask for a fucking full body photo? Even a full body photo wouldn't, you wouldn't still show up. Yeah, yeah, you can still hide it. Yeah, <laughs> but sorry. And her father. You know what? I think everybody was exaggerating. I don't. I didn't think it was such a big deal. I think he should have just gotten over it because you know what? I think that's an added bonus. Make somebody try harder and be sexier. And you know, when he wakes up and he, you know, he, he feels thinks, it. I mean, it could feel like he boobs too. Well, now so we have to it'd add be that like four boobs, boobs, which is better than two boobs, right? right? So why not? Yeah, I, I hey, guess you can never have too many different. boobs, you even if it's on one person. Put a nipple on a hump. You got a you got a D cup there. Yeah, you got something there. Yeah, that's true. And that's what happens. And whichever. The way she's up. facing, you ha kind of have a yeah, the you know. front action and the back action. Yeah, yeah. spoiler yeah. alert, everybody. So yeah, so <laughs> big spoiler alert. The movie. What, what was the budget for the movie? It was. We shot it in Romania, actually, mm -hmm. in the heart of Transylvania. So, and we also had a like a five day shoot here in L.A. and it was like a thirty five day shoot yeah. in Romania. So, so a, a portion of the budget was spent here. A portion was spent there. So cash yeah. six million value maybe twelve to fourteen because we got this eight hundred year old castle for you know we shut the castle down for thirty thousand dollars for it was our castle for four weeks really oh, and so it's not like shot out receded at a medieval no time no, no. it was so fucking cold that you can see the breath coming out of there everyone some yeah. people some executive producers on the movie said but well, what are you gonna do about that like you know everyone's breath is coming I'm like. 
that's why we went there. We yeah. wanted the reality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It yeah. is. So, so you know. I mean, and taking very, very 12 experience. to 14 American actors and maybe 15 of our key crew, and then having 125 Romanians working on the set, mm -hmm. it was. It really was a cool experience. And lots of people have bad experiences going overseas, but this was a, a really cool one. Did you stay at the castle or just no. shoot there? Shit. Yeah, you couldn't stay there. there. We. Uh, it was a little steel town in the middle of nowhere. Gorgeous though. The drive to get there, mm -hmm. uh, um, in a city called Hunadu Hunaduara, right? Right. That's that Romanian. The only, the only question is, Irina, it was interesting. I met her at a film festival in Spain. She had won the Best Actress Award for this serious romantic drama. But I was like, God, I wonder if that girl could do comedy. Mm -hmm. So we started talking. But and I wonder how she'd look with a hump. That right. was the second That was the second thing. My, you know, my wife had to sell her on the, the whole hump thing. It well, kept me warm. That's my... <laughs> I'm the most happy about that. But she's really Romanian, and mm -hmm. she was already living here. Um, so it worked out perfectly. But, uh, you know, she can tell you about about Romania, but the experience was it was amazing. It really it was, was very, very cold, and you couldn't, you couldn't. I, and we got to pretty much build sets into the. We also shot in, on sound stages in Bucharest for a while mm -hmm. as well, and then we basically moved up to the castle and did the rest of the shooting at the castle. And the cast stayed in like their own hotel, which kind of With became no like their own dorm in a way. Right. For the whole cast, they had their own hotel. We were in a little bed and breakfast with some interesting people there. Sure. And uh, as you and it was find, a sonic boom every day that we thought maybe the world was going to end because we we're like what and that would shake what going on and we're like what is that and no one would tell us are you testing what's missiles or what's going on <laughs> so it's just migs flying overhead it's what just was it? weird very never weird found out? Never, never found, found out, out. It's it's just, sucks when you're taping and there's a sonic yeah. boom it's never like right. when we were shooting for some reason i or I, shooting i should yeah. say well now all right so where did now, you shoot the hammer where did we yeah. shoot it just all around los angeles yeah. really yeah was that a good experience um, it, it was hectic because we, it was about a, I think it was like a 23, 24 day shoot. Uh, we were in a big hurry all the time. As I tell people all the time, you know, they, they always think about budget in terms of special effects, but it's really more about time than it is special effects. And so it's a lot of set up, reset up, moving on, like a lot of moving on. And so what happens when you don't have a budget is somebody says, we got to be striked out or struck out of this restaurant by noon right. because the owner told us we can only use it till noon because we only gave him 150 bucks. And then we got to move on to the next parking lot scene and we got to go. And then yeah. you go, and then someone says to the producer, says to the director, do you think you got it? And they go, I could use a few more takes. And they go, but do you think this is good enough? And they go, I guess we technically. And you go, all right, moving on. Right. So you don't ever really get a whole bunch of shots at perfection. Yeah. You just have to bing, bang, boom. Moving on, moving on. Our first movie was like that. We made it on 45 credit cards and maxed out $240,000. And so we had that kind of experience. It's nice with Transylvania. We really did have the budget. It's a big movie. There's a lot of effects. There's, I mean, the locations, even not just the castle. We were fortunate that, mm -hmm. you know, especially in this day and age, to have what we needed. We have. We had our own 1920s steam train at our complete disposal. and uh, Our own set of tracks to run it on because we wow. have this horse, trace, uh, horse chase sequence. Wow. Um, so we're lucky, and, and it's it really... But doing it Romania uh, style, too, instead of like a camera car that would come from Hollywood that would run on the train tracks, we worked with We had something out of Dr. Seuss. Seuss. That, that was how we shot It was a train. hydraulic kind of fixer train thing really? that you know went up 40 feet on, on the lift, and you're going by, and there are wires, and we're like, duck, everybody, you know. But it's a little different in Romania, because you're always trying to make sure, obviously, before you get to shoot, everything's going to be in place. And in Romania, you ask, are we going to have that camera car? And they go, yeah, yeah, it's not a problem. And you go, right, but we'll we have the yeah yeah don't worry about it it's okay it's not a problem we say okay but what does it look like don't worry about it <laughs> but that was kind of the whole shoot all the way am I right it's like to, in order to, and that's yeah. kind of how <laughs> but it's like the difference between shooting in uh, Romania is that when you tell the grips okay we want the camera right over there on the ledge of the castle they don't do the American <sighs> <laughs> wow! They get they get in there, they pick it up, and they put it there because they're not going to be working. <laughs> it's not in their union, their union, right. their their grips, but they don't. Uh, they're not. They don't move the stuff or whatever it is I here. I know you can barely tell. I look.